Hi, my name is Rebecca Miller, and I want to talk to you today about my vision uh, for Portland and my passion project. Um, first of all, a little bit of background on me. I've spent my career bouncing back and forth between fitness, which I love, working as a personal trainer, teaching Group X classes, um, helping manage uh, different gyms, etc. cetera. Um, love the fitness industry. I feel like I come alive when, when I'm active. Uh, my, my heart opens up and uh, I really feel connected to people uh, around me. That being said, uh, it's been far easier for me to make money <laughs> uh, doing bookkeeping work. Uh, I have both the right and left brain. Uh, I do well with numbers and accounting's always made sense to me. I've always been very good at it, but I was reading a book recently and I forget who to reference for the quote, but it said, uh, be careful what you're good at. And I've always thought accounting was very boring, did not fulfill me, didn't feel like I was making a difference in the world um, or utilizing my true strengths. Just because I'm good at it doesn't mean that it's what I'm best at. Uh, so that being said, um, I'm a creative person and how I've uh, shown the world my creativity is through starting different businesses. To date, uh, I've started two mobile training companies that didn't go so well and now I have my own uh, contract bookkeeping business that's essentially remote uh, and, you know, able to pay bills, all of that. And I love my clients, but again, it's not my passion. Uh, but let me tell you what is my passion. Uh, recently, let me back up. <clears throat> I've always operated with this sense of team in my life. Uh, I've been very lucky. I'm super close to my family, my cousins. I have awesome friends. Uh, and I've gone through some shit, <laughs> as I'm sure all of you can relate. And life uh, is not easy. But in that, there's beauty because through these struggles, we get to grow. Uh, and it's a lot easier to make it through and have a positive outlook and uh, learn from those lessons and then be able to share with people when when you have a good team. Uh, it's really difficult to get through life by yourself, trying to do it by yourself. And, uh, and I want to share that with the world. And I uh, came across kind of a better way of describing what I mean by my sense of team recently. Uh, when Nelson Mandela passed away, I was doing some research and I came across uh, the South African philosophy Ubuntu, which uh, essentially means I am because of you. And it's this intrinsic sense of gratitude and recognition of other people. Um, something I like to uh, describe as uh, living in the dark room of solitude. We can be great, we can be smart, uh, we can be super motivating, we can be leaders, you could you know, find a cure for cancer, uh, you can do amazing things, but if you do it in the dark room, solitude, doesn't matter. If you're there by yourself, doesn't matter. Uh, and the point of this is that I think a lot of times we forget, you know, we're trying to succeed for ourselves. We want to, you know, make sure that we're okay, that our immediate family is okay, that we can pay our bills, that, you know, we want to accomplish this, we want to accomplish that. And I think what's lost a lot of times is remembering that the only reason that we can become great and do great things or have any amount of success is because we have a team. We have fans. We have people out there that support and believe in our idea. Uh, so what I want to do is start a community center. And this community center at the backbone will be this philosophy of team or Ubuntu, 
uh, where it's all about giving back and recognizing the community and all those people that are in our lives, whether they're people that we choose or they're just in, you know, the, the guy on the street corner. Uh, you know, everybody that is in your community, the reason why you and I can matter and make a difference is because these other people are there. Uh, <clears throat> so the aspects of my community center, first of all, uh, it's going to be a fitness facility. Uh, I think that fitness is a perfect realm to teach people uh, how to rely on their team, uh, sports, uh, teaches teamwork, uh, teaches, you know, people to motivate and lead and yet, you know, um, recognizes all the players on that team have an important role. And, uh, you know, I, I want that to be part of the philosophy and bringing each other up, um, on a, Another note with the fitness, uh, can we be great if we're not healthy? Uh, so in addition to promoting this aspect and uh, philosophy of team, I want to actually make people healthier in the process uh, so they can be vibrant people uh, and they can be healthier and take control of their lives. Um, in addition, uh, I want to have a community garden. Uh, this will serve lots of different purposes, one being uh, we'll all work together in this garden to grow our own food. Uh, we will know that it is organic, healthy, uh, not GMO. Uh, we're going to help low-income families to eat healthier by providing this food to them. This is also uh, has an exercise component. People that maybe don't want to exercise by coming to the gym and sitting on a treadmill for, you know, 30 minutes while well, standing, I guess, but uh, you want to do something more active. Uh, you want to be in the dirt, get literally getting your hands dirty. You know, you can come and volunteer your time working out in the gym by gardening. Uh, and you can get to know all the other people uh, in that facility, garden together, uh, bond, <clears throat> um, and then again, we'll reinvest uh, what we provide, what we grow together back into the community, especially to those low-income households who typically can't afford to eat well and uh, therefore have an even harder time succeeding uh, barring any financial difficulties and access to education, et cetera. But, you know, the first pillar has to be your, your well-being, your health. So um, those are two aspects. Um, <clears throat> another aspect of the facility will be uh, lecture rooms. And these lecture rooms will have lunch lectures, evening lectures, uh, voices from the community, people uh, wanting to express themselves artistically, poetry readings, music, um, promote uh, diversity and awareness, have different cultural presentations, uh, different sexual orientation, uh, education lectures, uh, education on, on nutrition, on GMOs, on eating organic, on fitness. Um, and then whatever other special interest groups, you know, if you want a voice and you want to be represented and you're trying to bring your community up and love people, you're welcome. Uh, do a presentation. People will come. We'll get them there. Uh, and lastly, something that's really important to me is uh, beauty and fun. Okay, so the, the community center is going to be all about art. I'd like to have a big graffiti wall um, and have local artists come, you know, set up, set up shop, display their art. Uh, we want to make it colorful, vibrant, and expressive. We want everybody represented and we want it to be beautiful. We want to remind each other that, hey, we're in this together and we have a beautiful 
world here to get in, get involved with and help each other out that's worth connecting over and it's worth uh, saving and, and doing something good. Um, and part of that beauty and, and whatnot is, is having fun, you know, the, the beauty of a, of a child's laughter, etc. cetera. Uh, so part of the center will be dance parties <laughs> and just fun, crazy, weird Portland events, non-serious, uh, and a mental escape, a way to be creative and relax and just enjoy the essence of being, of being human and being together. So anyway, this is my vision, uh, my community center, and it's more than just a community center. It's really a movement um, teaching people to rely on each other and coming through for each other, recognizing each other and being grateful uh, instead of focusing on our differences and the haves and have nots, but what can we do together as a team? Because like it or not, we're all on the same team. There's one team. So how do I plan to do this? Well, of course, with your help. Uh, specifically, uh, we're going to put an ad up on um, Kickstarter and do some crowdfunding, etc. I'm also going to hit the pavement and get some government grants and funding, uh, hit up Parks and Rec, etc. General donations, we will do fundraising drives um, and that is how we'll get the funding to start. Obviously, we'll need a lot. How we will continue uh, this, you know, we'll charge for memberships. Um, we'll provide scholarships for people who can't afford it, etc. But memberships, and then we'll charge also for special events, etc. Uh, open to all of the community, but members will get discounts, etc. And then just ongoing fundraising, and your creativity is welcome. Uh, I'm sure we'll be selling uh, services and products as well um, from local vendors, etc. So please give me your feedback uh, and advice. This is going to be started through teamwork, which is the whole point, right? So help me make this idea a reality and start this movement so we can go forward together, making the world better. Thank you.